Hi guys, Brian the Squirrel Lion back with another video and today I want to talk to you about movies being released this year or more specifically the ones that I'm most looking forward to. Now there's a few that I am looking forward to and uh, I've watched a few of the trailers for them but yeah let's let's just chat about a few of the ones that I'm really looking forward to. Now the first one that I'm looking forward to is um, Deadpool 2. Now I think anyone who's watched the first one is definitely ready for the next one. Um, the trailers have been, shall we say, <laughs> interesting. Um, Ryan Reynolds, who plays uh, Deadpool, uh, taking the character into weird little scenarios. Uh, the first one that I watched, he, he was walking down the street and he sees a guy getting mugged in a back alley. So they went for this like mock Superman thing where he runs into a telephone box and he's supposed to run out and save the guy but instead it takes too long inside the box, runs out and the guy's already been shot. So he just lies down on the guy and starts talking about how it's mad that there's a telephone box in the middle of the street in this day and age. Uh, it, that one is actually my favourite trailer from the film. Uh, I just love it. it. It just embodies everything that's Deadpool. Like all the snappy little jokes and all that. Like, yeah. Uh, then we got to see one with him pretending to be Bob Ross painting a picture. Like, he's painting away, it zooms in, then zooms out. There's a completely new picture. And yeah, he's like, he, yeah, um,. I love cocaine and all that, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Um, we get to see little snippets of the film throughout that, not much, just like little teaser things, brilliant. And uh, the other one was uh, a girl talking about how a cat stuck in a tree, so he climbs up to get it out. That, that one wasn't as funny, but it's still funny. Um, now in the new film, uh, we're going to be seeing uh, Cable as the main villain, um, Cable, played by Josh Brolin, who, if you didn't know, also plays Thanos in uh, the Avengers movies uh, and the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see him as Cable. Uh, he, he's, he's a good actor, seeing him in a few other things, so yeah. Um, but yeah, we're also going to be seeing a lot of returning characters like uh, Deadpool's girlfriend and that, um, but the big one for me is Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Now, if you don't like that name, why? Just honestly, why? That is, like, the best superhero name ever. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Come on. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to be seeing her returning alongside uh, Colossus. And yeah... Uh, Honestly, just really looking forward to it. From the trailers, I've, you don't get much of a look into what the film is actually going to entail. But if you saw the first film, you've got to be you've got to be excited, like just so excited. It's it's the whole fourth wall breaking, the um, anti superhero thing, um, the way he jokes about other films as well like uh in the first one you saw him you saw him like um just don't make me green or animated that 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 was brilliant like i i'm a big ryan reynolds fan and i actually did weirdly enough enjoy the green lantern film um but to see him actually taking the piss out of it brilliant um the big thing for me was uh, watching Wolverine Origins. I hated what they did with with Deadpool in that film. They they just they shouldn't have they shouldn't have gone near it. They should, if if that's what they had in mind for it, they just shouldn't have gone near it. But yeah, so there's my thoughts on Deadpool two. Uh, on to the next movie. Now the next one I want to talk about is Avengers Infinity Wars. Uh, now I'm probably going to be talking a lot on this one because it is a big thing, this one. 
Um, basically, the whole plot of it is Thanos, again, played by Tom Brolin, who we spoke about from uh, Deadpool 2. Um, he's chasing down the six Infinity Stones. Now, if he collects all of them, uh, he will be unstoppable. Like, there will literally be no way of stopping him. There's too much power running through him. So, uh, basically, everyone's teaming up together. And when I say everyone, get ready for this, because this is everyone. Like, um, we've got the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're going to be in it. If you don't know who the Guardians of the Galaxy are, you've got Star-Lord, played by Chris Pratt. You've got Drax, played by Dave Bautista. You've got Rocket Raccoon, voiced by Bradley Cooper. You've got Groot, voiced by Di Vin Diesel, sorry. And uh, you've got Gamora, voiced by Zoe Saldana. Uh, yeah, um, it's going to be good seeing how they fit, how well they fit in. I want to see a little, like, thing with uh, Rocket Raccoon just completely messing with uh, Tony Stark. I don't know why. In my head, it sounds hilarious. So I really do want to see that. I, I kind of want to see him trying to steal the arm from uh, the Iron Man suit. Don't know why, it just sounds like the sort of thing that Rocket Raccoon would actually do. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, going on to more of the people who are in this film, um, we've also, we're also going to be seeing Doctor Strange in this. Uh, he's going to be playing a big part in it. Um, Doctor Strange is played by Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, if you've seen the Doctor Strange film. Um, I enjoyed the Doctor Strange film a lot. Like... It wasn't the best Marvel film, but it was still really good. Um, also in this film, we're going to be seeing Ant-Man, played by Paul Rudd. Uh, when that came out, I, was, I wasn't too optimistic about seeing the Ant-Man film, but when I actually sat and watched it, I absolutely loved it. it, it it's up there with my favourite uh, Marvel movies, definitely. Um... We did get to see uh, Ant-Man alongside the Avengers, but it wasn't like an Avengers movie. It was Captain America Civil War. Uh, and we also got to see Spider-Man in that, played by Tom Holland, uh, who is actually a brilliant Spider-Man. I don't know, like, I don't know what you guys think, but I watched uh, Spider-Man Homecoming and I absolutely loved it. It it was just brilliant. Uh, so yeah, I've got big expectations for Spider-Man in in this movie. Uh, so yeah, um, we're also going to be seeing Black Panther in this, uh, played by Chadwick Boseman. Um, I think there's a Black Panther movie coming out this year, isn't there? Uh, so basically, we're going to have two Black Panther movies in one year, which could be good um black panther again was in the civil war movie um and it, it was good um but i do i am interested to see more of him branch like uh black panther branching into his own movie because uh the character is actually just amazing uh i think you can already tell how big i am on my comic book stuff like i've spoke about it in other videos but yeah uh big thing for me um one of the other big things that i'm looking forward to seeing is the new spider-man suit we got a little snake peek uh in spider-man homecoming but in this we're actually going to see it put to use and it actually looks amazing i mean actually just look at the suit it, it looks brilliant so to see what it can actually do uh i can't wait um well also in this film we do have my celebrity crush karen gillen uh she's playing nebula you may know her from uh like the guardians of the galaxy movies or the new jumanji movie that's been released or the biggest one that i can think of uh playing amy pond in doctor who uh she's a brilliant actress and yeah, in my opinion, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's my insight into Infinity War. 
So let's just stay hopeful and hope it's the best Marvel film that's uh, ever been released. So yeah, let's move on to another one. Now the next one I want to talk about is the third instalment of the Maze Runner film, uh, The Death Cure. Um, I've seen the other Maze Runner movies and I did absolutely love them. Um, I don't know what it is, it's, it's great storytelling in my opinion. Um, I've not read the books. Uh, I think I'll probably have to, if I love the movies this much and books are always ten times better than the movies, that then I really should actually read the books. Uh, if you've watched the movies, um, uh, like if you haven't, I'm going to say no, spoiler alert, but if you have actually watched the movies, you saw at the end uh, Teresa, who was played by Kaya Skidaro, Dario, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Uh, it, it's the girl from. She was in Skins. She, yeah. Um, but she betrayed. She betrayed them. And. Uh, like. You, you saw him getting taken away by the big corporation. So. Uh, we've got a lot to hopefully see from this one. Um. So yeah, Fing fingers crossed it's a good film. Um, main character, Thomas, is played by Dylan O'Brien. If you don't know who Dylan O'Brien is, I strongly, strongly recommend you watch Teen Wolf. Uh, I, know, I know it's an old, I know it's like, it's not old, old, but it, it, it's finished now. But Teen Wolf is a brilliant show. He plays Stel Stalinsky in that. And... I, I think I actually prefer him playing Stal Solinsky than playing Thomas in this film, but that's not to say that I don't like him in this. He is brilliant in this. Um, one of the other people I'd like to talk about in this is Aidan Gillen. Uh, he plays Jansen in this film. Now, a lot of you may know Aidan Gillen as Littlefinger from Game of Thrones and... If you do, then you'll know just how good of an actor he is. He, he is brilliant. So, yeah, I, I'd, I'd recommend giving this a watch. Like, the first thing I saw Aidan Gillen in was uh, 12 Rounds with John Cena. And he was absolutely brilliant in that. Uh, so, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend, like, if you've not seen the Maze Runner films, don't just go, oh, well, I'm going to go and watch uh, The Death Cure. Go back and start from the first film because if, if you watch it from this third film you're not going to get it at all like the, there's going to be so many little plots in it that'll just make you go well what are they on about so go back watch the first film then watch Scorch Child then get on to this one highly recommended and yeah uh, let's talk about the next movie now for the last one I'd like to talk about Jurassic World 2 now uh, I know a lot of people, there were a lot of people who didn't like Jurassic World and on the other hand there were a lot of people who did. Uh, for me I'm one of the people who did. Um, it, it's like seeing your childhood brought back to life um, because I grew up with those films, the Jurassic Park films. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully they're going to do well with this next one. The main premise in this one is uh, the park is well the full island is about to be blown up by a volcano uh, by the looks of it from the trailer and um, Claire who uh, ran the park played by uh, Bryce Dallas Howard um, she wants to go back and uh, save all of the dinosaurs who are still on the island um, she wants to go back, so she talks to Owen, played by Chris Pratt, uh, about going back and actually rescuing him and it even has this little heartwarming bit about, um, didn't you raise Blue? Uh, Blue is a velociraptor, um, and yet yeah, Chris Pratt's character Owen in it actually raised him and just treated him beautifully. Uh, but yeah, the, so the whole premise is about going back and actually saving them. Um, 
in this we also see uh, returning Jeff Goldblum, uh, who if you watch the originals, uh, you'll know was a big part in those films. Um, but yeah, it, this film actually does like place a moral dilemma. The, these dinosaurs, they were created in a lab, right? Uh, but after they've been created on in the lab, they are living things. They are actually like alive. They do have purpose and everything. So could you stand by while something that actually does have life and have meaning and have hope, have feeling and everything, could you stand by and let them die, know that they're going to die and then just let it happen? It, it, it's a whole moral code thing. I, I personally couldn't. Like, it, it's it's like a whole God thing. Um, if, there, if there was a God, or if there is, sorry, I'm not meaning to offend anyone, um, but him standing there watching, if he, he slash she, um, the omnipotent being, if they knew that... Um, the world or the universe was going to implode within a second or within a few days or whatever uh, would they intervene and you'd hope the answer would be yes for you so if the answer would be yes for you why wouldn't you do it for something else that's been created uh, I know that's going on to a serious thing for something that's just a movie but it if you watch a movie and you ask yourself these questions, if a movie makes you ask these questions, then it's a brilliant movie. It's doing what it set out to do. So I hope that Jurassic World 2 actually sets out and does this. Um, like if, if you were a fan of the original films, I'd say at least give it a go. Like obviously there's no fans of the third film. Like if you're a fan of the third film actually sit and watch it because it was just a train wreck but yeah um i would say just uh, just actually go and watch it. it 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 looks fantastic uh there's looks like there's a lot of work gone into it so yeah just just don't back out just because you think like oh they're going back in the chain they're messing about with like a beloved film of mine that's not the case they're trying to carry on the franchise uh, and I know sometimes it doesn't work, but let's just we can stay hopeful and think what if this one actually does So yeah, that there's my thoughts on Jurassic World 2 and that's where I'm actually going to end the video today um, If you did like the video give it a like comment down below your thoughts on any of these films or maybe even talk about um, any films that you'd like to see in, in 2018 maybe you've seen a trailer or whatever uh, yeah so just uh, let me know uh subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of my videos hit the notification button so you're alerted when a new one goes on and yeah thank thanks for watching and sticking around through my little ramble see you in the next one